are having a wonderful day so i am kind of <laughs> a bit stressed all right so today i'll be showing you um a makeup brush i got from amazon.com a company reached out to me it's called um the vanda the name of their brush is vanda and i'm um, all a seller i don't even know what to call them a company or a seller reached out to me and um their brush is called vanda and um they sent um 24 pieces of their makeup brush to me and um they said i should check if i like it and maybe show you guys <laughs> all right and this is how the package looks like it's just um in this package it comes in the regular like mailing package anyway so i removed it and this is how it looks like at first and then when you open it up it comes in this pouch like some makeup the like regular makeup pouch or purse but it's a bit different because of the way it's being structured at the front so this is how it looks like basically and then you just open it up and boom you reveal the brushes so these brushes are 24 pieces brushes and um this is how it looks like so my favorite is this fan brush i really love this fan brush i love the fact that the fan brush is not um what do they call it it's not scanty and it's not too slim it's actually like big and very vol voluminous <laughs> it's very voluminous it's it's very full and um i really love how full it is look at how it is and um i love the color of these uh, brushes it has like a rich um silver like color like it looks more like gray but it goes between silver and gray i really love how it looks like how full it looks like this is the first one this is a fan brush then i'll go ahead and show you guys the second i'll just show you each of the pieces I don't really go by like what the seller put at times so at most times i use something like this for like um a um foundation brush i like using something like this for foundation brush so this is how this looks like it's really full too and um i feel i like how it feels like on the skin it feels really soft on the skin so yeah that's a plus this looks like this like um a medium size is like a size between the big one and the small one so um i don't i don't hold like this size of brush so i don't know what i'm going to use it for yet but this is how it looks like um the this is the third one i'm not going to speed it up and i'm not going to talk again so this is the next one This is like a big one of um i think concealer brush there's a tiny concealer brush that has like this shape is it asymmetric shape or something but this is like a bigger one and all these brush are really fluffy i hope when i use them they hold um foundation well i actually love this i have a smaller one of this this is the first time i'm actually checking each of the brushes it's just the fan brush i checked before and I'm just seeing these for the first time. I actually like how this looks like. Hmm. So it actually goes from big to small. So they are getting smaller right now. So this is the next one I'll be showing you guys. The next one I'll be showing you guys. So the silver shape too. This is actually who? A different color. This is brown which is good when your makeup brush is dirty you don't have to feel like a dirty girl <laughs> i'm just joking guys i'm just joking <laughs> so this is how this looks like i try to like i really love these brushes i'm actually looking at them well now uh, i love this i love it actually the great thing gold so it has like gray at the bottom then it moves down to gold then whatever color is on the brush but i actually like this
small yeah that is small so this is how this looks like it's a bit like i think a bit shorter than the one i showed you now and a bit flatter something and fuller this now is a smaller one so this is definitely an eyeshadow brush this is how it looks like i love the hombre look it has like um a cream and a white at the tip and i think brown at the middle but the tip looks more like gray so this looks really good this is how it looks like. it looks firm too it doesn't feel like like it doesn't feel rubbish like it doesn't it doesn't feel annoying like it feels really firm even though what i mean by firm like it feels like when you use it on your um on your um crease or your um like on your high it feels like it would like pick up um um shadows well this looks nice it looks fringy kind of but sturdy it's firm as well okay about before like the downward slopey kind of um tip so so these are smaller ones now so this is how this looks like i feel like if you're a makeup artist this set is enough for you to do the high thing the shadows and stuff and um i like using um a small one like this for the outer corner of my high just This is smaller than the one I just showed you guys now. This is like shh, shh. So yeah. We need a startup kit for brushes. I think this is a very good brush to use as a startup kit. Mama, is it fresh? I am a brush person. I don't even for foundation Mama, I use brushes. I use the blending foam today, but I feel more comfortable using brushes for my foundation and for my setting powder. I just feel like they blend my makeup better. Like today, I use the blending um, foam for my um, the beauty blender for my foundation, but I still went ahead and used brush for my for setting my powder. This is how this looks like. Then the next one is just um the foaming thing like if you prefer to use like this kind of um foam brushes for your um eyeshadow then this is it i love this i've never seen this before i've only seen this like with beauty blender so it looks like the beauty blender kind of foam but it is in a brush like this is wow this is so good so this is how it looks like i don't really know what to use don't know what to use this for yet but i i love the concept i love how it looks like so if you know what this is used for please tell me in the comment section below but for me i don't know but this is how it looks like it looks like the beauty blender foam this is actually unique too oh oh it looks it's like the smaller um fan brush we have three more hold on guys three no two more two more yep. all right so the next one is the regular brow brush and let's see this feels really soft yeah it's soft yeah it's soft this feels soft last one i'll be showing you guys is the um brow brushes and comb so this is how this looks like thank you so much for coming over to my channel today i'm really impressed by these brushes like i didn't think much of this brush and um when i got started checked the first two ones and i didn't really check it much but just reviewing it and looking at him now i, I love how 
how um, well made they are. I feel like they are really firm and they would really hold shadows well. And um, these brushes are on Amazon. They are at very affordable price. And um, also, like one thing about this brush I noticed right from when I opened it was that it has like a, sm a little bit of a smell to his. It's like maybe the factory smell or like brush from, um, smell from like maybe synthetic stuff. So like I, I feel like the smell is going to wear out after some time. I didn't even smell the, I didn't even smell it when I opened it this afternoon. I can't even smell it right now. Uh, that I got it like three days back. So I would say like the smell would like go after some time. So don't bother about the smell. But I think this is a really good, um, um, addition to one's makeup collection and um, I'm going to put the link yeah, put it on my like page. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Only if you are new to this channel, I'm going to start by saying please subscribe. Subscribe to my channels. I have more videos coming up. I have exciting videos coming up. So tune into this channel. And if you already subscribe to this channel and you don't get notifications of my on my videos, turn on the notification button. Turn it up. It's just right there, down there. Turn it up and you would get notifications. Give this video a thumbs up if you like. Subscribe, watch, and do have a great. Great day. Bye guys.